What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Disney is set to do something tomorrow presentation wise they haven't done in a long, long time. And because of how they're doing it and where they're doing it, industry insiders have pointed to this as an awesome opportunity to make a big splash, i.e. huge announcements. And with two huge Marvel Studios projects right around the corner, Miss Marvel only a couple of weeks away, Thor Love and Thunder only a couple of months away. Incidentally, we got brand new stills from both of those projects today. We're gonna break down exactly what's going on tomorrow with Disney slash Marvel Studios presentation, why it's so special and people are getting super hype, the likelihood that we're getting brand new trailers for Miss Marvel and Thor tomorrow, given that we got brand new stills today. We'll also break those down in full, but first, if you could, friendly reminder to grab the subscribe button to keep up with our daily Marvel content, because that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider scoop, everything news regarding MCU and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway if you want. Stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so starting tomorrow, Wednesday, April 17th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's 1 Pacific, Disney will be holding one of their in-person upfront presentations where they're showcasing all of their upcoming content. Of course, that includes Marvel Studios, but Pixar, Star Wars, you guys get the deal. Now, what's important to note about this presentation is number one, one of Disney's presidents referred to it as an event, quote, unlike anything you've ever seen, unquote. It's also important to note that this is the very first in-person presentation that Disney has done since the pandemic broke almost two years ago. So they're gonna be looking to make an impression and because of that, it's a likely possibility we'll get reveals from Marvel Studios, one of the biggest, if not the biggest franchise at Disney for both streaming Disney Plus and their upcoming films, two of which those franchises, Thor Love and Thunder and Miss Marvel, the two next things coming from Marvel Studios, both dropped brand new stills today, which we have. The first of which shows Valkyrie in her brand new threads, even though we had seen it via a stump doubles revealed photo on her Instagram. It's good to see it in person. All of the costuming, the practical costuming during this film looks amazing. You also see Jane Foster, Natalie Portman's Mighty Thor sitting next to her, and she is oh so buff. But I think the huge takeaway from this photo is something that people are missing. A lot of people looked at this and wondered if these were side by side thrones. But when you take the entire photo in its context, the wooden nature of those chairs, the wood behind them, and in the slight foreground at the bottom, this certainly looks like to me that both Jane Foster Thor and Valkyrie are riding on one of those ships we saw during the trailer, perhaps approaching where we saw Zeus in the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. I do not think this is a new Asgard, while I may be wrong because it is a port and a fishing town, or at least it looked like that during Avengers Endgame. These may be wooden thrones, but taking the context of this photo and all the wood surrounding him, I, them, I really think this is on a ship. Now, as far as these presentations go and the reality for Marvel Studios, I always tell you guys to not get your hopes up in case they don't show anything. Marvel Studios has run the entire gamut when it comes to these sort of things. Sometimes they give us all a brand new slate. Sometimes when we're expecting new trailers and reveals, they tell us absolutely nothing. So take that expectation into tomorrow. Also keep in mind that the next big thing coming from Disney is not Miss Marvel or Thor Love and Thunder, but in fact, Kenobi, which is set to release in just a couple of weeks, the Star Wars celebration is about a week and a half away. That's set to release on Disney Plus, and considering a lot of this presentation is going to aim at Disney Plus, and that's the next big thing coming, I think it's safe to say they're going to focus on that a lot. If we do get any Marvel Studios reveals, the most the most likely candidate is brand new footage or a trailer for Miss Marvel then followed by a look at Thor Love and Thunder. And no, I don't think they'll be announcing any brand new projects like Daredevil or any of that for Disney+. Plus. The main purpose being they already have a ton of officially announced projects with no, with no other information. Things like Secret Invasion, Armor Wars, Ironheart, they all got announced during 2019 or most of them got announced during 2019 San Diego Comic-Con and then teased again during the Investors Day meeting in December of 2021 with no footage, trailer, or major announcements or reporting about those projects, and no release dates for the rest of what's to come on Disney Plus this year, which to me, regardless of footage, is the most likely thing they should do. Tell us what's coming out in 2022, confirm it, and then give us dates for things like She-Hulk, Miss Marvel, if we're getting What If Season 2, Werewolf by Night, I Am Groot, you guys get the point. There's a lot to come from them that doesn't need to be brand new announcements like Secret Wars and or an X-Men TV show. But let me know all your thoughts down below, what you'd most like to hear about. And of course, keep it tuned here at the channel 
because as any or all of that breaks, we'll have you updated here. Speaking of which, let's get into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s all the way up to a million subscribers. We are almost to the next milestone of 960. If you wanna be entered to win or for any of the other giveaways, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.